Uh, we've got Laura here joining us. Do you know where that is? South Carolina? I don't. I'm not familiar looks, with my South it Carolina. It looks lovely right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we've also got Kelvin joining us. I feel like everyone's been hearing a little bit of that noise right there. Yeah. Uh, Kelvin is beautiful. Uh, Laura, first off, tell me about Kelvin before we get into the weight of a feather. So Kelvin is a great horned owl, which is the most common owl that you're going to find in the United States. Um, the one that whenever you ask a kid, what does an owl say? Who, who? That's what they usually make. She's got a little bit of a baby noise because she's just yeah. only over a year old. So she still has oh, a little gotcha. bit of the, the begging noise. Um, but she came to us because she was found as a baby and kept illegally by somebody. And so mm. she's imprinted on humans and does not know how to be a wild owl. So she ended up uh, getting loose from that person and ending up in somebody else's backyard who knew to bring her to Liberty Wildlife. And we've been able to add her to our education ambassador program. So I know that this is not what we're here to talk about, but you really got me on that whole okay. who noise as opposed to that noise. So yeah. you're, is that like a hunting noise or something? That hoo hoo that they that's, make as they get older? Yeah, that's going to be the adult noise for breeding and communicating more. And this is more the begging, like, hey, I'm a baby, feed me. Because she's been around humans she's been and around raised us. this way. Yeah, yeah. That is so interesting. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about Liberty, what you all do. Yeah, we've been uh, in the Valley for just over 40 years, and we're a nonprofit wildlife rescue and rehabilitation center so we take in all native wildlife that's sick injured and orphaned with the hopes of rehabilitating them and releasing them back out into the wild those that can't be released can get onto our education permit and come out and do the programs like this we go to schools we do community events and we also have people come to our facility for field trips and open hours to get an up close look at some of the nature of wild of arizona Sounds good. Okay, now we got to talk about the thing that's on our screens all around us, this logo, the weight of a feather. Um, this You can see this today, right? Well, so today is our VIP premiere event. Okay. Um, so it's the first that we're all getting to see it even, except for the people who've worked on it. So we've been working on this for almost over a year. Wow. Um, starting October 7th through the 13th, uh, right in time for Indigenous Peoples Day, Harkins at Tempe Marketplace will be showing it twice a day for the general public to see. Um, so it'll be really exciting for everybody to get to see 40 years worth of work from various entities. It's not just us. It's not just the you know, general public of Phoenix. It's all of Arizona and so many other groups that have gone into helping thousands of animals, tens of thousands of animals at this point. So these are the stories, basically, of, of all of the hard work that's been going on for decades. Yeah, it talks about, you know, not just the hospital, but our non-eagle feather repository, which helps indigenous people um, with collecting feathers for the regalia. It talks about condor recovery mm. and working with the Peregrine Fund and so many different groups that have gone into making it their life's work to save the wildlife of Arizona and keep our habitat healthy. I imagine it's just beautiful to watch too, right? I, you start talking about this, I am, I'm already seeing like the sweeping, beautiful landscape shots and the birds yes. and everything. Like, I bet it's just a beautiful Yeah, film. we've only seen the promos yeah. and then of course the, the music in the background swells and we all get the chills and, and we're so excited. Those of us who've been working on it for so long and had tiny parts in the background, finally getting to see the full uh, 56 minute length feature, which will be really exciting. Sounds good. And yeah. is Kelvin, I know Kelvin's only a year, is Kelvin in the movie? She might have some cameos. Okay. She might. Yeah. You, Kelvin, <laughs> already a movie star right. a year old. It's impressive. Um, how do people learn more about the Conservancy and how they can get involved? If you can go to libertywildlife.org on our website, you can find out all the different information. And of course, then if you go to Harkins at Tempe Marketplace, they'll have information about getting tickets to see the documentary. Great. Are you yeah. guys looking for volunteers? Always. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Definitely on our website, you can look up information about how to help, and volunteering is one of the best ways. We need, we have about 250 to 300 volunteers that help keep us going from day to day. When you talk about a bird like Kelvin, an owl like Kelvin, if you see an animal like that in distress in the wild, yeah. can we call you? Definitely. We yeah. have a hotline. That's one of the volunteer jobs, actually. So yeah. our volunteers are helping people out in Arizona figure out what to do when they come across something. If it's something that they should get to us, if it's something our rescuers should come out to. So yeah, that's it's incredible. A lot. Thank you so much for coming in. Really thank appreciate you. it, Laura and uh, Kelvin. Thank you so much for coming in too. Movie star in our midst here. We'll be right back. Okay.